there is a lot of unsafe abortion taking place out there. And we receive a lot of cases where the procedure is induced somewhere else. So there is risk of injury to the reproductive system. There is risk of infection. There is risk of bleeding. If someone induced an abortion outside and they came in and they, despite all the management, the services that were provided, the outcome was still poor. It has a negative impact, of course, on the provider. Remember, you don't know what crude equipment they might have used to do the unsafe abortion. So you first have to assess external genitalia. Are there any lacerations? After you assess, you now do the bimanual examination. You separate the external genitalia. Insert two of your fingers, the middle and the index finger. This other hand will be supporting the abdomen from the top. So you'll In the past, it has been that three doctors would determine if a woman has the right to have this particular procedure. But now it says a medical provider. Now, that is also in contention. What is a medical provider? We've had some direction from the ministry on that. And a doctor can delegate to a mid-level provider to provide these services. But there's also a lot of anxiety around this. So in a real client, by this time, any materials that are inside the uterus would now be coming into the syringe. So you will repeat the sanctioning until you're satisfied that the uterus is completely empty. The problem with the law being in a gray area is that it pushes people to seek services in circumstances that are not safe. By the time that client is coming in, bleeding, or having sepsis because they tried to terminate out there, already society has failed them one time. Post-abortion family planning is something we take very seriously. The family planning is, is a misnomer. Basically, it's post-abortion contraception. If we let them go without taking care of their contraceptive needs, then we'll have failed them the second time.